Windows smashed glass everywhere and investigators trying to put the pieces together. For the second day in a row, people in mid-Michigan woke up to businesses and buildings vandalized. This time in Flint, where workers found window after window shattered. As you saw right here on TV5 just yesterday, businesses in nearby Flint Township are also trying to recover from similar acts of vandalism this week. TV5's Trey Harris is live in Flint with what investigators have revealed so far. Trey? Yes, not the sight children and families wanted to see at Flint's Children Museum today, but there is some relief as the museum only plans on being closed today and reopening tomorrow with plans to get glass replaced sometime today. Now, this isn't the first time an incident like this has happened, which is why the museum has cameras all around the building, which they say those cameras got a pretty good look of the person they believed to broken out the glass. Now, they're, they're the silver lining in this and everything is that the museum plans on donating the shattered glass to the Flint Watershed Coalition for a glass mural. We have a pretty good image of the person that did it coming around the side of the building and then across the front of the building. So we're hopeful that they find him and hold him responsible. Right. It is a really unfortunate situation, but as always at the Children's Museum, somehow things go right. Flint police are actively investigating this incident, this string of incidents, as Easter Seals, Sal Jims, and the school Durant Tory Mott were also hit last night. I'll have more updates for you tonight in our evening shows. Live in Flint, Trey Harris, WNM TV5.